Okay, good morning. Today's gonna be one take. It's about one. Um, did a lot of work on the car today. Spent a couple hours detailing. Talked to Luke. He's back from his extravaganza of being in Utah for like five weeks, backpacking and rafting and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I went over the whole car with Z6, went over the whole car with Z8, feels fantastic. Clean the wheels, clean the tires, clean the exhaust, clean the bumpers, clean the windows, vacuum the carpets. That was the majority of the day. It rained all day, it was warm, we're in shorts again, it's nice. Um, it's like 62 degrees, 64, something like that. But anyways, car's clean and uh, kind of started working on my next project and I'm gonna attempt to get some intellect there's some intel on here over the uh, upcoming days or weeks or whenever I can get into the body shop. I've got some free time. And that project is the PDC. We briefly touched on that before, retrofitting the front. Um, it didn't work when I plugged everything in. There's a module back here. It's that white box right there. It's got, the, since this only has rear sensors, not front from factory, there's two connectors that go into it. Note the black one and it's almost too bright, and the white one there on the bottom. The black one is the rear harness. The white one takes, I guess, is power and wires into the car and the speaker and stuff like that. Um, the kit that I bought online has a blue harness as well. That'll run to the front. So that's got that updated module that would add the blue harness. So I plug that in, plug on the new module, then I'll plug the white into the white, the black into the black, the blue into the blue, attach the four sensors to the blue harness inside the car. I already have the button panel installed that incorporates all the old buttons. In addition, uh, we also have the PDC button right there. Uh, put the key in, turn the car on, press the button. It does not illuminate green as it's supposed to. Put the car in reverse to activate PDC since the button does nothing and it just gives me a solid beep indicating the system's been disabled. So you listen to one, two, three, four, and then the additional four that were just plugged into my trunk, uh, the blue harness for the front, and they all click, so they're all getting power. Um, the white connector has a total of, it's a two by seven pin layout, so there's 14 possible pins. Don't mind all this, this is from sandblasting. I just need to vacuum that out. Uh, 14 possible pins. I cut the uh, insulation around the wire. Uh, this tape that holds it all together and count it. I've got 12 wires going into it, so there's room for two more. So I'm thinking that those additional two are probably a wire up to the front gong speaker and two, the wire for the button panel that I just showed you in the dash in the console. So um, I asked Bobby and Hassan, both of who, both of which have front PDC. Hassan's M5 doesn't, his 530 did, which he still has, and Bobby's 525 does. So I'm going to have them count how many wires are in their white harness and if they come up with a number other than 12, which they'll probably say 14, then I know I need to run some lines. Now as far as which pins go to which pins, that's going to be a huge pain in the ass. I just posted on M5 board um, a couple paragraphs with what I'm trying to do in hopes that somebody will know. The guy that I bought the system from, I always replied super quickly on Facebook. I mentioned him on uh, March 30th. I haven't heard back since. Maybe he's on vacation or in juvie or something like that. But uh, hopefully he can find the time to reply and let me know what's up because he plugged it all into his and said it worked and online it doesn't. Talk to the guys at Dave Walter. They say even the shop guy or the, the tech who's been there for uh, 40 years would probably have no idea how to do this. It's not something they've ever done in the history of a dealership is retrofit front PDC on an E39. Um, just did about an hour and a half worth of research all over the internet searching for stuff on E53s, E38s, E39s, and E46s. And people are saying that some wires need to be run from the white harness on the trunk up to the dashboard switch area. So that's not a big deal. I can run single wires up there. I just need to figure out which pin needs to connect to which pin, and then I'll have to figure out how to take the harnesses apart to add those pins and then buy 20 feet of 14 gauge wire, or 18 gauge wire, whatever it is, and make the haul. But um, if I can do that, it should work. It should work. I should be able to, I might have to replace the front gong speaker with one that has a third connector on it and then build a connector or something like that. But if I can't figure it out or if it's going to cost a bunch more money, I'm just going to have to sell the kit and should be able to sell it for more than I paid for it. All, honestly, all this stuff's brand new and it's all OEM. So, yeah, fun project. It's pretty stressful. Tomorrow's Friday. Rumor has it we're going to pick up the 540 for Osvon. I don't know. We're going to have to see if he can get the uh, cath, cath, the cash withdrawal from the bank and then drive back down there and then find a, 
the uh, place to uh, register the car. As far as license plates go, it's like 30 minutes away from Willard, Willard, Ohio. Then we need a bank to do the title transfer. It's crazy busy. But today was Thursday. That's all I did. I'm going to go shower and get to bed. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Good night.